Hello students, Ms. Swanson here, and today we're going to take a look at cellular differentiation. Now I chose this picture here because it shows a stem cell and it shows that cell turning into a differentiated cell. And the process of becoming a stem cell turning into a differentiated cell is cellular differentiation. So our learning goals for today, you should be able to describe cellular differentiation and its purpose and you should be able to compare and contrast the organelles or the shapes or the sizes of differentiated cells. So first of all, all cells in an organism have the exact same DNA. So why is it that different cells look differently from each other? Why is it that a red blood cell looks a certain way and a nerve cell looks a different way? Or an epithelial cell, which is like a skin cell, why does that look a different way? Well, what happens is inside of the DNA, it's actually chopped into little bits called genes. And the genes control what the cell looks like and how the cell acts. Now, each of these independent genes can be turned on or turned off. Now, if a certain gene for becoming a neuron is turned on, that cell will become a neuron, like in the left side of the picture there. If a certain gene to become an epithelial cell is turned on, the cell will become an epithelial cell, like the one in the right side of the picture. So differentiated cells can only perform their specific role. The neuron can only act as a neuron and not as an epithelial cell. And similarly, the epithelial cell can only act as an epithelial cell, not as a neuron. And we need all these specialized cells in our body in order to have each of the different functions that we need. We need to have cells that can do those jobs. So, the actual process of a cell going from a stem cell to a differentiated cell is called cellular differentiation, or sometimes it's called cellular specialization. So if we take a look at these cells here, we should be able to recognize these as red blood cells, and they have a very specific shape that helps them do their job. So they're very round, they're very smooth, and they're very flexible. So this allows them to move through the blood vessels without any trouble. If they had a lot of sort of sharp, spiky bits pointing out of them, then they would get stuck in the blood vessels. So they have a very good shape, and size for what they need to do. These cells are neurons and they have these projections that stick out from them and it allows them to connect to other cells to communicate with those other cells. So this gives them a good shape for their job. And then we have some sperm cells and each sperm cell has a flagellum which is what sort of looks like a tail in that picture and the flagellum allows the sperm cell to move which is obviously an important role for that uh, type of cell. So each of the different types of cells they look different or they have different types of organelles that allow them to perform their roles. So let's just take another look at our learning goals. You should be able to describe cellular differentiation and its purpose, and you should be able to compare and contrast the organelles or the shapes or the sizes of differentiated cells. So that, if you are able to do all those things, fantastic. If not, please ask me in class tomorrow. All right, that's all for now. Bye-bye.